Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. It's like we've never been away. Now what we're going to do then, this is a follow on video from that fantastic turkey I roasted. As you know, if you've watched it, it was succulent, juicy, it was, yeah, it was something special. Now this is the one of the follow on videos I'm going to do. Today we're going to concentrate on the gravy, so you've got to imagine You've roasted your turkey, and this is the resting period. You've got between half hour and an hour to get your potatoes on, your gravy, your stuffing, your sides. So today we're gonna to do the gravy. So what we did then, we roasted the turkey. We made a lovely stock from the giblets. We got half a litre there, because this is the trick of making good gravy. I know it sounds anal, but the measurements, you'll get nice thick gravy if you follow these rules. And I've obviously got my hot juices there, if I pour that into there, that's just over half a litre, but if you watch that in a moment, as you'll know, there's a lot of fat and grease in there, you can see it just starting to separate there, and we don't want none of that in our gravy, we want it, want it as pure as possible, so you can try and tip it off, you know, out of that jug, or spoon it off but I think you can't beat a gravy fat separator you know I said on my video that uh, the thermometer was one of the best things I own this is another cool tool you know very cheap and it saves a lot of hassle but you do as you know pour it in let it settle and we'll pour the oil off because once we've got our measurements of our liquids, just watch me pour just the juice now, we know how much flour and butter to use. Because I've watched a lot of videos, as I normally do on YouTube, to see what people are doing. And you know, they're, they're starting off, yeah, perfect, no problem with a roux of butter and flour. There's no measurements. So some are coming out real thick some of them coming out real thin which doesn't really matter you know because you can balance it up let me just pour the rest of that fat off there as you can see there wasn't a lot left and we are left then with just pure chicken juice which was uh, turkey juice sorry which had that lemon and that onion in and that should give us about 500 mil so in all yeah, look at that. It's like I almost know what I'm doing. So, we've got 500 mil of juices and 500 mil of stock. So for every 500 mil of liquid, we are going to use 25 grams of plain flour and 25 grams of butter. So obviously I've got a litre, so that's 50 grams of plain flour. Always use plain. The self-raising, you know, can get lumpy and 50 of butter. So I'm just gonna set up the camera on the stove and we're gonna get this trainer rolling. So just for this video then, I am going to make it in this pan. Obviously you could use the tin you roasted your turkey in. You know, just put it straight on and just follow this principle. So what we're gonna do then, I've got, like I said, 25 grams of butter to every 500 ml. I've got a litre, so when we go with 50 mils of butter, so we'll just let that gently melt. Okay, that's just finishing melting. So I've got it on a low to medium heat because we don't want to burn this. Although we will be putting some color on. So 25 grams of flour to every 500 ml. So in goes 50 grams of plain flour. We incorporate that in to all our butter. And then just turn the heat up a little bit, not too high, because this is fierce, this back one. We want to cook this out a bit, cook the starch out, and obviously the colour that this roux is, is going to be the colour of our gravy, so if you like a darker gravy, just cook it out for a little bit longer, but you know, be careful not to burn it. Just keep it moving around. I mean, that turkey, it really was beautiful. And like I said, that was just a generic, cheap, frozen supermarket one. Just imagine if you had like a, a Norfolk bronze, 
or any of those free range organics or whatever you want you fancy you know it would be absolutely stunning so I'm going to cut that out then just take it a little bit darker for me so that's got a little bit darker then so what I'm going to do bit by bit add my turkey stock which I made and obviously stirring all the time we don't want any lumps and obviously you know the beauty is if you make it thick to start with you can always let it down put some more in it's a case of just feeding it gently with your stock and this is the same principle for any gravy you're making you know if you did a chicken you pour off the juices and use just a stock cube if you want to and if you haven't made a turkey stock with this similarly stock cube or just water I'm going to add some more heat under that you can see it's nice and thick still give that a good old stir up so the lumps come out of that then you can see it's just a nice thick so in with all those juices this is the kind of cooking I like you know when you're using everything so all those flavours you know that we had we've used and it just intensifies becomes lovely you can see it's thickening a bit more of the juice in it's just a case of good old elbow grease excuse my fingers I'm just going to give that a taste mm. oh that's nice and a little bit more and then what we'll do we can check for the season although obviously all the seasoning of the bird has gone into it I think that's a nice consistency of gravy what I'm going to do is just simmer that for a while you can see that bubbling away now to me personally that is how thick I like my gravy now you can add just keep adding some more you know just let this simmer away I do like it like that and it tastes amazing just need to season up that would make a fantastic soup what I'm going to do I'm just going to put a bit more in just for this video because it might be a bit thick for some of you guys Crank plenty of pepper in and then some nice sea salt that in there. A bit more I think. Let's see how that turns out. Let's give that a blast. Looks like cream chicken soup. Oh that's nice now. So that's my gravy done. It's that simple. Once you get those measurements right you can't go far wrong you know and I still had some well, the juice is left but I like a thicker gravy and this is what you get beautiful almost creamy thick gravy so that's the fantastic turkey gravy done and if you like it a bit thinner you can always add some more juices or just some plain water so we've done the turkey we've done the gravy next we're going to do the potatoes then the stuffing and then sides and if you've liked what you've seen here today please spread the word you know or go to my twitter account at the scott reed project and i will say a big shout out to al who informed me that my old twitter link in the corner on my channel page took you to an old account it's all been fixed you know click on that little birdie and you'll see what i've been getting up to so until the next time roast potatoes to go go baby i'll see ya